Joseph with oh, Harvard behind him. Oh, oh there's contact. Out of you now. Stewart into the middle of the pack and over. Watch it now. And a huge wreck to end in the 14. You can see Tony just a little bit late in making that move to get back down. Harvick and Kenseth on the outside had a run, so they were literally going to go by him on both sides. Watch the two. The championship leader somehow avoided getting really torn up in that. So he looked like... Start yes. and a big crash going into turn one. That was not a man. Spin the yeah. tires on the one, or, or Sam tried to time it, went a little early and it slowed down, and then tried to go again. And that's obvious, as you know, an easy way to get your tires. And you're so wide and say, roll, roll, what? Whoa, oh, trouble. Boy, the two car upside down over and onto Scott Riggs. It's the big one. Oh boy, who is that still flipping? Sauter. It was Johnny Sauter. There's not anybody left. I mean, I only see about four or five cars that are coming around through three and four right now that were not in this race. They see Mike McLaughlin in 18. They're still getting upside down people, cars driving under cars. There has to be 25 cars over there. Comes Michael Waltrip. Damage. Lyndon Amick. And you see the two of Johnny Sauter. Here comes Scott our... Riggs, oh, last that. week's winner. Here comes our leader. Had everybody Whoa, I've got Finish. trouble right there. Now Mike Wallace is around right there. Law of Matt Kins is also. And this will take some people out of the race, no doubt, Mike. And Jeff, uh, that was right at the same point in the pack. Scott Riggs got turned up to the high side. And look how many cars pile in. Oh, Jimmy Johnson up into, into Mike Wallace. Got into the 40. The 48 got into Mike Wallace, and uh, that that's all it took. It was on from there. Riggs was just in the wrong place. He was. I, I thought that he and Junior had. That, I thought that contact between he and Junior may have had something, but what it really didn't, other than it pushed him up there where he could get in it. The leaders at record speed, but the rest of the field is in trouble. Back in the fourth turn. Fantastic pile up in auto racing history takes 37 cars out of the race. No, Johnson, Johnson, Johnson big big wreck. can't go. Big wreck going to happen oh, here. Oh, no, right? man. You are wow. kidding me. Oh. Try to find a gear and it just, it's locked down and won't go into gear for some reason. So I was still that way at the end and I couldn't drive the car in. I don't think I'm all that damaged, but uh, unfortunately, you know, lost a shot at winning. And the side by side racing in a crash. Mark Martin's car lifts off the ground, but does not go over. But this crash is going to involve several cars. You see Hut Strickland in the mud. There's a man on the outside. And there's Joe Rutland. It was bound to happen. Lake speed is damaged badly. So is Rusty Wallace. The Sunoco car. Kyle Petty triggering this multi-car crash. Look at Mark Martin's car go way up on the air, but it came down on all fours. But behind him, Everybody gets on the brakes, slides, spins into each other, down to the infield grass, creating a chaos on the backstretch. Rick Mass must have been running 100 miles an hour. Benny, you mentioned that the uh, several cars had windshields pop out of them. and Josh Perry in the eight. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Slammed into the side of him, and he spins Siege Carib into the wall. What a move by that yellow car of Jones to miss the wreck, and here comes the rest of the field. They can't see. It's smoke and dust all the way across. More coming in too fast and more contact. A huge impact. Look, visibility is about impossible, and they just start, you know, just coming into the wreck with no ability to see what's in front of them. Oh, yeah. Brandon yes. Brown was behind Sammy Smith. Sammy Smith went to the left, and as soon as he went to the left, that car was right in front of him. He had nothing he could do. He's got some help with him. Oh, oh, oh into the wall they go. The 11 now also caught up in it. The whole Haley. The three of Austin Dillon squeezed. I mean, there were. Uh, I'll tell you how it started, but it's like four or five things happening all at once. 
we, when we pick it up, you've got two or three cars sideways from multiple types of contact. I was with you when, when we started there. I saw two cars sideways. I think we're going to try it a little bit earlier. Let's take a look from the three right In here. Knoxville. Chandler oh. Smith did his job. Oh, and there's the big pile up. Oh. This is going to be ugly. Gonna bring yeah. out the caution again. Oh, boy, they're just piling in, unable to get stopped. That started really near the front, didn't it? Yeah, it really looked like about eighth spot back. Like the, the 34 was sideways, whether he got the back. Oh, oh no, 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 And everybody. Good. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? This is big. Wow. But it. And then he collects yeah. Menard. Yeah. Logano just misses it, but the whole outside lane and half the inside pile up. And this is exactly what we were just talking about. At this stage in the race, you can start to taste victory in the Daytona 500. You want to see that checkered flag, and you'll do anything to get it, and you know you've got to be more aggressive. They touch. All three cars are touching as they come down through the trioval, but everybody maintains position. Wow. Oh, no, Sachs is in trouble. And takes Petty with him. And we're going to have a terrific crash here as nearly all the field is going to be involved in this crash. There are only about 10 or 12 cars that survive this melee just past the starting line. When you have cars that near to the front, get in trouble. Try oval here. And they get together once again and around they go. And then everybody starts getting involved. See, the track is just closed up. There's nowhere for people to go. like that Derek Cope and Greg Sachs made contact just prior to Greg losing control. Very reminiscent of a crash in the 125 event here. Cameras, they go down the back stretch. Oh, there hard, it is. hard into the wall, the 41 of Kurt Busch. He'll collect the rest of the field. The 18's in it, the 48's in it. The 88 is in it. Just on the front edge, he starts to roll now on the apron. The 32 of Matt DiBenedetto. The four of Hart. Oh, just looks like the 78. Was that the 38, perhaps, of David was, Reagan? Yeah, I think it was a 38. It's like the 78 trying to make it four wide. And... Trouble. Hey, Greg. Here's the big one. Man. Well, the All the way up to the two, and they just right before the 10 gets there there's a little bit of movement and that little bit of movement when you make that much contact turns your, your car right around that's exactly what happened to brad keselowski and the 10 of uh, amarola somehow we're making it through so far oh, oh no we didn't further up three four that's all guyer oh my look at this tony reigns as it just stacks oh, up we got, there we got cars stacked on top of cars Dude. See Brendan Gallen there. That penalty, you know, it's give and take, especially this early in the race. And if and if you don't uh, if you don't give, you cause a multi-car wreck like that, and that's what happened. I mean, been in a lot of wrecks of the 16 this year. Not, you know, it seems like I've been involved in a lot of his wrecks. So, uh, like I said, I'll take the blame because I was off the track, but you got to let somebody. Oh, here oh, we, we go. Got trouble. That's Casey Kane that goes sideways. Joey Logano nowhere to go. Oh my! Clint Boyer the field the is grass. gone. The big one at Daytona has happened at lap 97. That is the huge one at Daytona. Justin Allgaier. Oh, and the Denny 18 Hamlin. gets on its roof. And Kyle Busch rolls upside down. Yeah. Welcome back to Daytona. It's the big one, gang. It's the big one. It's what we've all been fearing. This kind of racing is going to happen. A horrible crash on the back straightaway that began when Tony Stewart got turned sideways against the back stretch wall number 20. Jason Leffler, all torn up. The defending cup champion, Labonte. Stewart, there's fire underneath the hood of Bobby Labonte's car. He's out, he's okay. This is the view, you see Tony Stewart moving inside his car. Steve Park's car demolished. And Stewart, Stewart's car, car really. blew and then had a car land on it. And somebody got into the back of that car that right was there. That's Ward Burton yeah. right there. You saw a puff of tire smoke and then everything went. I think that's what started. Somebody got back of Ward Burton off I, turn two. I, I'm pretty sure that 
20, the uh, four car got into the back of Ward Burton, turned him into the 20 car, and God help all of them because there's no place to go. And you can't see 